What is the best travel lens using a Sony APS-C camera? Specifically, I'm filming on the new, I call it the Baby FX3, the new ZV E10. In this video, we will be talking about travel-related tech equipment. If that is something that you're interested in seeing, stay tuned. Good day, wow, it is a windy day here in Tampa, Florida. We are currently in Tarpon Springs, which is, I would say, 20 minutes northwest of downtown Tampa, or actually 20 minutes northwest of the Tampa International Airport. This video is to test out using the ZV E10, using picture profile specific to the HLG3 picture profile. So let me know how it looks. What do you think? I'm now filming at a shutter speed of one over 200. I have my variable ND filter at its minimum. This lens that you're seeing is the Samyang 12mm f2. This has to be one of my most favorite lenses because the size is perfect for these APS-C cameras. It's small, it's light, it's the 12 millimeter. The 12 millimeter is wide enough that you can get a better perspective on what you're trying to capture. And at the same time, because the ZV E10 has the ability to zoom in, to do a digital zoom, you can actually zoom in even greater if you want to do, if you want to change your focal length. What do you think? Is it a good lens specific for these types of videos? As a side note, if you're looking for high tech reviews on these lenses, please go visit a different channel like Christopher Frost or Dustin Abbott. They are very high tech in reviewing lenses from Canon to Sony to Panasonic, all sorts of different lenses. This video is specific for workflow related travel gear using camera lens. And is this something that you might want to travel with in the future? There has been a lot of negative reviews about this next lens. This next lens that I'm using is basically the kit lens. It's a 16 to 50 f 3.5 to 5.6 i realized it's a cheap lens and the image quality is okay but the form factor is really pretty nice one i like the fact that it's so darn small uh, and number two i like the fact that it has a power zoom yeah, that little rocker right there will change your focal length from 16 to 50. Uh, just by simply going wide or, or telly or... I like that. If, the, if your camera has a power zoom like that, I mean, why not take advantage of it? Again, this is why I mentioned that this camera is like the like the fx3 i know that's kind of a long shot i understand that but i call it the baby fx3 because one there's no eye and number two it's got this crazy power zoom which my next lens i'm going to talk about a little bit better when i turn this off into its lock mode 
you can't beat a lens like that, especially if you're traveling. This is my next lens. <laughs> this is the Sony 18 to 105 G lens with a constant aperture of f4. This has to be one of my favorite lenses. And the reason why I say that is because this has a crazy power zoom. This is like a what about vlogging? Could you vlog with an 18 millimeter lens? Now, obviously the crop factor, I'll put the crop factor on here. Um, this is at 18 millimeters. What do you think? Is that, <laughs> is that good for vlogging? Is that good solution for a one lens? So I'm vlogging, if you notice my, my arm isn't that bent and I must be getting stronger because I can actually hold this up <laughs> for a little bit. But what do you think? Is this a good solution for travel? Last but not least, this is the infamous Sigma 16mm 1.4. This is a very popular lens for APS-C, Sony, actually any APS-C uh, lens, I think this is... But how does it look? Is this a lens that you're willing to travel with? So what do you think? Is the ZV-E10 and or any Sony APS-C camera good enough for travel? It's definitely one of the best solutions for travel. Although I've traveled with my Sony a7 III and I've traveled with my FX3 and yeah, it's a little bit painful, but the image quality that comes out is pretty darn good. Or is the image quality on your cell phone just as good? <laughs> so I have been filming these camera lenses on my iPhone 13 mini with the cinematic mode. Is that good enough? Is that crazy? I, I mean, look at that image. No, it's not fair. Definitely not fair. You know, it's a bright day. It's a perfect day in December in Florida. So no, the image quality, that's, no, that's not fair, obviously. But is that good enough? With a little selfie stick like that, is that something good enough to film on? Or do we settle for these darn cameras that are twice, three times, 10 times as big as a cell phone? I don't know, what do you think? I'm really curious. I'm, I'm a little bit torn because to me, this image quality is, is just as good. Anyway, this is Nestor with Group 3. Hope you're doing well. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you got some thoughts about different ways of filming as you travel. I'd like to hear your opinions. Please leave your opinions in the comments below. Until then, I look forward to viewing your videos and commenting on your items on your videos. Until then, hopefully you're doing well. Take care, God bless, and we'll talk to you soon. Take care.